Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Mia St. John was born in San Francisco, California. Her fighting career started at the young age of six competing in Taekwondo. And as a teen, Mia decided to pursue her true passion full time, the sport of combat. So she signed with legendary promoter Don King and went on to become one of the first female legends of boxing. These days, the former world champ has a new fight on her hands and she tells us more about it coming up right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Hi, I'm Mia St. John, WBC boxing champion, five-time world boxing champion. But somewhere in the middle of my career, I just felt like, what am I doing? Like, you know, you walk through the tunnel and your adrenaline's going and you're euphoric and you have the crowd like chanting your name and your head is like, you know, blown up and you just think you're the greatest thing on earth. And then you start the decline. And then I realized like, well, what does this mean anyhow? Was I just put on this earth to box, to beat the crap out of another human being? And I heard someone say that while well, boxing might be my passion, it, it was not my purpose. And I realized my purpose was my foundation, was El Saber Es Poder. Because that's what I was put now in a position where I could help people. No more deaths! Justice for Julian! No more deaths! My son uh, was diagnosed with schizophrenia at the age of 17. I placed him in the facility two years ago because he was addicted to drugs, which is very common with people who have mental health issues because they're trying to relieve their symptoms. I wasn't very happy with the place and I did a lot of due diligence, a lot of investigating, but apparently I didn't do enough because I didn't know that there had been many lawsuits prior to ours, uh, many deaths prior to my son. What we want to do now is bring awareness to people that these facilities must be held accountable. Um, also, we are heavily trying to meet with the congressman in the area that he passed away, where the facility is, Long Beach, Compton area. We want something to be done about the plastic bags that are in these facilities, that many facilities, it's just a no-brainer that plastic bags are contraband. So why does a facility like this have plastic bags? My son tried to take his life two and a half weeks before he actually did it with the plastic bag. They left him with the same tool, and two and a half weeks later, he completes suicide. Well, it's very difficult to overcome this type of situation. I, I don't think there's nothing worse in life than losing your child. So I, I don't feel that, that recovery, a full recovery is possible for me. You know, I gave birth to my child and I don't believe that I will ever fully recover. But the only thing that, that gets me through my day is knowing that I'm helping others. <laughs>